Good morning. How's everybody? Boy, I'll tell you what, man, we had a nice crisp morning. Going to be a beautiful day today. Uh, Going to be a great day to get out and, and uh, get out there and play and do some stuff, isn't it? What, you already hot, Karen? I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Well, guys, we've got, uh, we've got, we've got lots of, uh, got a big special treat for you today for you guys that are here as well as you guys that are jumping on online. Um, Alvarado Roadshow uh, is going to uh, lead us in worship today. And uh, you're going to, if, if you haven't seen them or heard them before, you're going to have an opportunity to, uh, man, to really be blessed today. I promise you that. Uh, and, and plus, you don't have to listen to me today. So that's a double blessing, all right? Yeah, I know it. I know it. But hey, you better watch it. I may preach two hours next Sunday. All right, be careful what you wish for. Hey, let me, uh, let, let me get through these announcements real quick. And then this lady that's hiding behind me, uh, she's got some very important information to share with you. Uh, but, uh, man, it, guys, it, it is time for graduation. If you're a graduating senior, uh, we know how excited you are about that. And so, it, guys, if, if, you, if you have a graduating senior, there should be a sign-up sheet uh, back there on, uh, on, on the offering tables to get us their information. Yeah, if, if, if you're at home and you've got one, man, comment their name in there, and uh, we, we want to make sure we get a good, uh, good head count there. Got a family fun day. April 17th, the books are going to open at 10.30. That event's going to get underway at 11 o'clock. Got a 4-D barrel race coming up Saturday, April the 24th. Uh, kids, y'all are going to stay in here today. No children's church today. Team roping practices on Thursday from 7 to 9 p.m. That's $15 a person. You guys, are, guys and ladies on the finance team, uh, you'll have a meeting next Sunday. Cowboy camps. Cowboy camps that are coming up. Uh, man, the, the $100 deposit signups are going to be due by next Sunday, April the 18th. We've got to get a final number and get all that uh, turned in. Uh, and and let, me, let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. You know, parents, if you're, if you're stressing out about the money, uh, we don't want you to stress out about the money. Okay, uh, if, that, if that is a determining factor of uh, that $100 deposit of whether or not your kid can go to camp, get with me. Uh, and, uh, man, let me know because we don't, want, we don't ever want any kid uh, or, or any parent to stress out over money for camp, okay? Uh, we're going to be doing some different things that are going to help them and uh, get, get every one of them there. But uh, the preteens are going to Oklahoma, and uh, teenagers are going to be going to camp. So, I can't, I, man, I, I, I get tongue twisted over it. I can't say it like Remington can't say it. Su S Sumatanga, something like that. Uh, in, uh, in Gallant, Alabama is where our, our teenagers are going to be going. Uh, youth is going to have a uh, youth dance and fun night Saturday, April 24th, 7 to 10 p.m. Archery practice today at uh, 3 o'clock. Uh, I'm assuming right out here in the orchard. Uh, and the guys are going to be fixing breakfast uh, on May the 2nd. All right. So that, we got a lot of stuff going on, which is, man, which is good. Uh, so there's going to be something for you to get involved in. All right. So. With all that said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to step aside here for a minute before I introduce these guys, and I'm going to let Ashley share something share something with you, what's on, what's on her heart. All right. So how many of you have seen the G2 peace signs around here? Anybody? A few people? Um, so when Cowboy Church kind of first kicked off, um, you know, it was kind of short, sweet to the point, 10 to 11, you know, not a lot of extra stuff. And... Um, this new thing that they've been, it's really not new, it's been going for a while, but it's called Gather, Grow, Produce, G2P. So that's what those signs are going around. Um, and what it is is small groups. So about three years ago or so, um, God placed it on my heart that we needed it here. And um, I just kept, you know, it's not for me. It's not for me. I can't do this. Um, and it just keeps coming back over and over. And somehow I got mixed up in this, uh, into the actual D2P program um, with a bunch of fellow, Jimmy's fellow um, pastor friends. And um, they, a lot of them have it going in their churches. So, um, man, this is hard. <laughs> uh, so, I just wanted to share, a little, I'll try to be really quick because I know y'all are ready to hear the band, but um, several, probably eight to ten years ago, whenever I signed up, signed the green sheet for this church, um, I remember giving, turning the sheet in, and I met Jimmy and them down there at the old office, and uh, we talked, and he was like, so, you know, do you got anything you want to talk about? Anything in your life? And I'm like, no, it's great. <laughs> Everything's good. 
and he may not remember this, but that Sunday he stood up and he was like, yeah, we have several new members, you know, some of them have a lot going on, some of them have nothing, I don't know how that's possible, and uh, I just remember thinking about that, and I was just, I don't know, anyways, it was like something about starting, um, just sat in that green sheet, um, God just kind of started stirring in my life, and uh, I had a lot, um, and I really didn't know it because I really wasn't in the, in the Word very much, and uh, it kind of got me going, and then I started feeling all the conviction, you know, the things that I had um, going wrong in my life, and uh, so it got hard for a long time. Um, we had lots of family issues. Um, I tried to bring those into my marriage because I wanted to fix them, and uh, it got really, really tough for several years, and um, I finally found a group of girls um, that were, every, everybody was kind of from different walks of lives, but uh, I asked, I was like, hey, can we get together, like, I'm trying to learn the Bible and understand things more, um, you know, I know we all don't go to the same church, but can we get together and and just try to try to help me understand things and so we started a small group um, about four years ago and it was it was a total totally a God thing um, we all came from different backgrounds different religions and um, but we kept the focus Jesus and um, we've just grown and grown and grown and for me that was one of the biggest stepping stones in my walk, and that's where my growth came from, is those small groups, and so I really want to see that happen in this church. Um, God's put on my mind several times to have a marriage class here, to have a financial class, and um, this morning we woke up, my husband asked me, or I told him, you know, I'm speaking today, and he's like, why are you speaking, and I was like, I don't know, (laughs) ask God, (laughs) because I'm really not sure. So we're rolling with this. We don't know what it's going to look like. Um, But um, Tuesday, April 27th, we're going to have a meeting, and we're going to try to get these kicked off. It may be one small group. It may be five. We don't know. We've never done this before. Um, But I really, really, really would love to see a bunch of your faces, all your faces. Um, And I hope we can get this kicked off. Uh, I'll say it a lot. <laughs> so, just a little reminder, the very first small group we had was Jesus and his disciples, and the biggest example they set for us was they broke bread, bread together, they prayed together, they taught one another, and they loved on each other, and that's the biggest thing that I would love to see out of these small groups, um, because it's not just checking the mark off on Sunday that we show up here. It's so much more than that. It's just, it's doing, I keep saying this phrase over and over, but it's doing life with each other. And um, I think we need that here in our congregation. And that's all I got. All right. Thank you, Ashley. If you're interested in being a part of uh, G2P and uh, learning more about it, uh, learning a lot more about it, uh, Man, mark that date down, April 27th. Uh, be a Tuesday evening right here. Uh, you know, and, and, and I'm going to uh, I'm going to applaud Ashley for how she has taken this by the horns and uh, just continues to run with it. So uh, don't forget that day. Don't forget that day. We're gonna re- we're gonna be reminding you between now and then. Okay, I promise you that. If you'd like to be a part of that, uh, guys, it's the the New Test the New Testament church model is all about doing church together. Okay, uh, and it, and it's not confined inside this building. All right, so so be thinking about that and be, in pray, be praying over that if you'd like to be a part of that. Now then, uh, you guys, are, are, are y'all ready to hear these guys? Yeah. yeah, all right. Well, hey, these two brothers, they, they came all the way from Tennessee, okay, to, uh, to be here with you today, all right? Uh, so you guys, get, uh, give, give a warm welcome for Alvarado Roadshow. doing this morning? Can you hear me out there all right? Come on, somebody tell me hello. Y'all feeling good this morning? Come on, let's wake up, let's stand to our feet, let's worship this morning. Come on together. Somebody like this right here. Open the eyes of my heart. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. 
from your heart this morning, would you? Brother Van, can I get a little bit more of my voice in this monitor? Just a little bit more. How many love the Lord this morning? Yeah, you do. You do. Here's one of our favorites. When trouble surrounds us.
Very nice. Give yourselves a hand. You know, some of you guys are too young to know that song. And some of you guys are acting like you're too young to know that song. You know who you are. Hey, Jay, let's go. Uh, you want to put your hand up?
that's a good one right there. Yes, sir. AJ, it, how you feeling? It's I'm feeling great. I'm in Texas this morning. That's right. Now, see, now, Brother Jimmy, you didn't tell them we're from Texas originally. Yeah. You said we came from Tennessee. We was born in Fort Worth. You know that? Yeah. Yeah. Alvarado Road Show is the name of the band. We did we did a little time out in. Uh, that sounded like we were in jail. <laughs> we lived in Alvarado for a few years, and uh, a lot of good things in life happened for us out there. And uh, so we uh, we took up the name Alvarado Road Show. Good man, I am hungry this morning. I'll be honest with you. Well, we'll do something about that later. Yeah. We're in the state where Waterburger was formed yes, right sir. here. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, you know what? To be honest, Jimmy, I've got a testimony this morning. We found out that they have broke ground yeah. right outside of Nashville, Tennessee, the new place that Whataburger's going to sit. Yes. Holy ground. That is holy ground. And I'm going to tell you right now, hey, it's like the Holy Ghost just shined a light on that spot of dirt. And somebody goes, that's where Whataburger's supposed to be right there. And we said, amen. Amen. <laughs> for real, we've been praying about that deal for a long time. <laughs> we moved out to Tennessee and we left behind. Now listen how stupid we are, okay? We moved to Tennessee 16 years ago and we left Texas barbecue, Whataburger. I think I'm a little too loud now, bro. Uh, uh, you know, Texas hospitality. Uh, listen to me. Those folks out there do not understand what an enchilada is going to be made like. You know what I mean? <laughs> I remember the first time we went and they said, where can we go get enchiladas? They said, all right, go over here to El Rey's. El Rey's, it sounds like for, for real, you know. Walked in, tortilla chips, smelled good, sauce, eh. They brought it to us. We sat down. We ordered enchiladas. They brought, I promise you, they brought out enchiladas with ravioli sauce dumped on top. <laughs> That's the truth. <laughs> you talk about two, two fellas looking at each other like, what is going on while we're we eating said, this what thing? What kind of it? fool crazy thing is this? <laughs> enchiladas with ravioli sauce on top of it. I'm going to tell you what it is. That's demon possession right there. <laughs> what it is man you kidding me uh -uh. let's play some music <laughs>
see some of you singing this. Everybody sing, I want to live. I want to live however you want me to live. However you want me to live. That's how I want to live. All right, now let's put love where love's at, all right? Here we go. put praise where that's at. Here we go. I want to praise however you want me to praise however you want me to praise that's how I want to praise Let's lift your hands and sing that part one yeah. time would you? I want to praise I want to praise however you want me to praise however you want that's how I want to pray. Yes. Hey, Pastor was talking about youth camp. We played youth camp in Texas one year. We had just wrote that song, and we were letting the kids put whatever word they wanted in. And uh, so they were coming up with all kinds of crazy stuff. I'm telling you, you have to kind of put a meter on it a little bit, you know. Yeah. Like looking around here, I see some of these fellas. You can't let them say what they want to say in that song because they'd change the whole meaning of it. But, yeah. but one kid you came up, and I thought this was awesome. It was so awesome because we let them write it on a poster board, and then they could show the crowd, and the crowd would sing it. And uh, let's sing it. This is what it said, and we sang it because God was in it. Yeah. Two, three, four. I want to eat water burger. However you want me to eat. That's, I'm telling you what, the spirit fell in that way. <laughs> That's a true story, too. So every night, guess what we got to say? Yes, sir. I want, I want to eat water burger. You know, the uh, funny thing is we were actually in Brownwood, Texas, at the Cowboy Church there in Brownwood, Texas, some time ago. And everybody knows how much we love Whataburger. Wherever we go, obviously, we talk about it way too much. And um, this is before we were even going to get our Whataburger, right, AJ? Yeah, and uh, and the pastor came around, and he had he had they had they had received love donations for us that night or that that morning. And he came around, and he says, "You're not going to believe this." And he handed us all the love donations, and he says. These were dropped in the in the basket or box. I don't remember how they they passed the, the hat or whatever, and it was two free water burger, hamburger, coupons. <laughs> I said, "Good Lord, this church loves us." <laughs> For real. Now that's called that the love is offer called right the love offer. Yeah. Hey, did let's do that mama song. Yeah. Let's let me ask that. you something. I mean, I feel like we're at home this morning. We can be honest. It's Anybody here will be honest with me and admit you've done something stupid before? Good Lord, this is a stupid church right here. <laughs> Usually about three or four people raise their hand. The whole stinking church raises their hand. Honesty, brother. It's good. you got a lot to preach about around here. Don't you? I like that. Makes yeah. your job easy. I love that. Yeah, some of, them, some of the ladies looked at their husband and go, she pointed over here. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Aren't you thankful that, honestly, even when we're stupid, God loves us? Yeah. Amen. Hey, and he just keeps on loving us no matter what. No matter how ignorant we are and how stupid we are. But I don't know about you, but I'm thankful that people pray for one another. Our mama has been the biggest prayer warrior in our life. She has prayed and prayed for her kids and prayed for her kids. Prays for everybody. And matter of fact, she's taught our kids to really pray and know how to pray. Every night there on our place, they get to, we all get together. When we're home, we get together with them. Every night before everybody goes to bed, they meet at, at her house, and they all gather around and they pray together. And I think that is awesome because you know what? We don't think about those kind of things. We're so busy in life nowadays, we don't think about that. But prayer is important. I've got a sister. We've got a sister that's, a, that's older than me, and she was mama's thorn. She, in her flesh. Old, old, old. Boy, that was rough. That was, I mean, I'm talking about she was rough. 
Mama prayed for her, prayed for her, prayed for her. Almost didn't ever think nothing was going to happen. And about two years ago, our sister got saved. And I'm going to tell you right now, yeah, <laughs> praise the Lord. Yeah. And I'll be honest, now we're having to learn to have a relationship with this brand new person that we really don't know because she's so different. And she prayed, and Mama prayed for her and prayed for her. Your prayers work. We wrote a song about Mama. We want to do it this morning, and it's one of our favorites. And uh, it's at uh, the top string. It's the third string. Now, I'll, I'll give a disclaimer in this song, okay? In this song, second verse, it talks about, uh, I, I, I went, or first verse, I went to jail, that sort of deal. Mama wants us to straighten this deal out before we sing this song. She wants us to tell everybody. She says, boys, they're going to think y'all was in jail when y'all wrote this song. All right? So here's our disclaimer. We were not in jail in Oklahoma last night when we wrote this song, all right? <laughs> We were in Arkansas. <laughs> Here we go, so stupid. <laughs> Ready? One, two, three, four. Let's send this one out to all you praying moms. There was a time when I thought I knew everything. Put me in my place. She was strong enough to give me what I need. Mama prayed. Like the time I called her 40 minutes past midnight. I heard her say, Son, you'll just have to stay the night. No, she didn't grab her purse to bail me out of jail. Mama prayed. Mama prayed with a kind of faith that heaven would hear every word she'd say. Mama prayed that if she should die before she'd wake, the Lord would watch and always keep. Say each and every day with every right and wrong turn that I made, my mama prayed. After years of running with that rough and a rowdy crowd, I ran all that winding road I'd been away. Down. The doctor didn't give me half a chance to leave, so mama prayed. When I woke up, she was there with tears in her eyes. She got me thinking about the mess I made out of my life. It was the first step of me coming who I am today. Mama prayed. Mama prayed with a kind of faith that heaven would hear every word she'd say. Mama prayed that if she should die before she'd wake, the Lord would watch and always keep me safe each and every day. With every right and wrong turn that I made, my mom prayed. Oh, yeah. Mama prayed with a kind of faith that heaven would hear every word she'd say. Always keep me safe each and every day with every right and wrong turn that I made. Now I know she was 
praying mamas you keep praying for your child mama prayed for 50 years and things are different now and I'm so glad that God still moves and he's still alive and he still reigns and he still has control and power aren't you thankful for the Lord this morning aren't you thankful for his goodness in our life amen you know what I was actually this this uh you want to where you want to go? I don't I don't know what you. I don't even know how much time we got left. We may be already over. No, we're looking okay actually, AJ. Jeannie says if you go over this time, I'm gonna kill you boys. You know what? I was actually in. Uh, we've got a sister between us, and she went in this last week and had some dental work done, and uh, they found out she had some infection in the bone and. Um, she also has a, a blood pressure issue and the next day uh, her blood pressure was kind of out of control and uh, so I ran her to the emergency room and when we got into the emergency room I'm going to tell you what this deal is different now than what I remember I, I, I don't I pray, praise the Lord I hadn't been to the emergency room in years and I've got an 11 year old and she's been pretty safe in her life but when they gave the amount, the amount of questions they ask you when you go into the emergency room, they ask you, uh, of course, your family history. They ask you, uh, you know, what kind of medication you're taking. They ask you if you have, it, have any uh, addictions as far as tobacco or alcohol. Then they get into drug addiction. And then they ask uh, about suicide uh, thoughts. If you have any suicide thoughts, as late as this afternoon is what they asked us. The question, our answers were no. And uh, as we were talking, you know, in emergency, they've only got these 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 little panels that are cloth panels that divide each of the beds. And there was a guy over here, and the doctor came in, and I mean, this doctor gave him a what for about his addictions. Talking and talking to him, telling him he wished that he'd straighten his life out, wished he'd do this, and this guy gave every excuse as to why not to get off whatever he was on. I don't know all the details, and it just reminded me of how blessed we are to be to be able to know a Savior that can redeem us, that could save us. You know what? Some of our biggest struggles are ourselves. The thoughts that we have. I don't know about you, but I'm so thankful that he rescued me from my sins. He rescued me from my myself. You know what? There are some that are caught up in their self. And they can't think about tomorrow. They can't even think about today. They can't think about what to do with their own life. And if they only knew, folks, listen to me. If they only knew there was a Savior that could rescue them. And it's our job to be that example, that guiding light, to just to shine it back to the Lord. Are we being that this morning? Are we being all we could be? I'm thankful I've been rescued this morning. Listen, we wrote a song and, and, and the testimonies are coming for us. Besides just Waterburger, through COVID, God's blessed our life, and He's and He's and He's given us a new zeal, a new hope, and a new desire to to be able to 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 spread His word through our music. We're songwriters. This is what I got. If you like it, I, I'm glad you like it. If you don't, I can't help it. But I'm going to give what I have to the Lord to do what I know I'm supposed to do. I got a phone call just about a month ago 
AJ and I wrote a song. We're going to do it for you this morning. We're putting it on our new record, which actually is coming out in vinyl also. How about that? But we're putting it on this new record, and the, the Grand Ole Opry uh, members, I guess you'd say, are cutting a new country record, the, a band called Daily and Vincent. This song will be going on their new album. They're recording it of ours. And I'm so glad to be able to extend the arms to be able to reach more people for the Lord. And I hope it will. We want to do this song for you this morning. We wrote this song some time ago actually about our sister. And this song is called You Rescued Me. Listen, go AJ. comes a time in everyone's life oh when you just call it what it is we justify we try to hide till we get tired of telling that lie oh when it's the same old taking me I just don't know but I'll tell you what I do know I ain't never been nothing nothing but trouble a hard head pushing on the pool door running from anything that maybe could have set me free never really was a living Show me how to turn the key. Oh, you rescued me. Yeah, it still gets to me how you could see what I was too blind. See, but you still believe. Some call it love, some call it fate. I just can't help but call it grace. Oh, cause you. still gets to me how you could see what I was too blind to see but you still believe 
Some call it luck, some call it fate. Well, I just can't help but call it grace. Oh, cause you should have quit on me. I ain't never been nothing, nothing but trouble, a hard head pushing on a pull door, running from anything that maybe could have set me free, I never really was living, till you wrapped your love around me, opened up my eyes, Help me find the lock and you show me how to turn the key. Oh, oh, oh you rescue me. Amen. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, there's just something about that name. Sing it with us. Master, your head this morning. I don't want to take too much of your time up. But I'd hate to know that we drove all the way from the other side of Nashville, Tennessee. About 14 and a half Just because we wouldn't slow down and give the opportunity, we miss the opportunity. Did you know? Do you know? That God knows our thoughts? Did you know? Do you know? God knows our heart. He knows when we're confused. He knows when we're scared. He feels our loneliness. He's felt our pain. Listen, we just come out of one of the roughest years. A lot of folks hurting. A lot of folks still hurting. you know that during COVID God was still God? Do you know that when they quarantined and you were in your home, maybe alone, maybe just you and your wife or husband, family, did you know that God is still God in every situation? Listen, I didn't plan on doing this this morning, and we didn't have a, a grand plan to get to this point, but it, 
feel like the opportunity is here to tell you about something. The fortunate part about what I have to say to you, what I have to sell to you, what I have to offer you, is it's nothing that I could give. But this deal is the real deal. So if you've tried the rest, you've not tried the best. I was a young child when I gave my heart to the Lord and He hasn't failed me in my life. I've failed Him. And I know we're all the same. Listen, if we go around the room, we find out that a lot of our stories are the same. It's just this right here. We're afraid to talk about it. Or we're afraid for folks to know that we're going through something. Here's what I want to do. I want us to bind together this morning. I don't want to embarrass anybody. There's not going to be anybody looking around. Brother Jimmy's going to come in just a minute. And he's going to take the service from us. And I'm sure he's got things he may want to say at the end of the service. But for this moment, let's find together and as believers and let's believe that God is going to do one thing. He is going to be God in our lives and we are going to allow him to do that this morning, all right? If you're going through financial struggle, raise your hand real fast. Put your hand back up. If you're going through health problems, raise your hand. Put them back down. If you're going through family struggles, marriage, let's do marriage. If you're going through marriage problems, or you just want God to strengthen your marriage to become closer to each other and to Him together. Maybe the family, your kids, you've got a child that's lost. Raise your hand. Listen, we are not alone. The one thing that the devil wants us to believe is we are by ourselves, and that is a lie. I, I laid in the bed night before last, and I spoke over my wife and I told her, listen, the enemy is a liar and a deceiver. And he wants us to believe the lies that he is telling us. And it is that they are lies. We are overcomers in the name of Jesus. Here's how I want to do this deal. I don't want to pray by myself. I don't want to pray by myself. I want us to pray together, and I don't want you to repeat what I'm saying. I want you to speak to the Lord in your way, whether it's out loud to yourself, however you want to do it. But I'm gonna I'm gonna lead, and I'd like you to pray along with me. And let's believe as believers this morning. And let's mark this line. Let's put a line out and let's let's move on from the things of the past. Let's move on from the stinking thinking that the devil's had in our life. Let's move on from those those financial burdens in our mind and let's believe that God is reigning over our finances let's believe that God is reigning over our health and we're going to believe and see a positive outcome in the other side would you do it with me believers say yeah all right let's pray together Lord we love you pray church Lord we love you and we thank you this morning Lord thank you for your goodness thank you for your mercy thank you for this gathering this gathering this morning, the way it is, Lord. Lord, we appreciate your goodness, Lord. Lord, last week we celebrated Easter. We appreciate what you've done for us, Lord. Thank you so much. How could we ever repay? We can't. We can't repay you, Lord. So we stand here and we do one thing that we can, and we give you ourselves, Lord. Lord, we give you our minds, our body, our heart, our spirit, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Every bit of everything that we are, Lord, we give it to you. Lord, I'm asking you right now, Lord, every hand raised for financial issues, Lord, to go there. Lord, in the name of Jesus, do miraculous things in our homes, Lord, in the name of Jesus, in our businesses. Lord, the health, Lord, of our church, Lord, and our church people, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I'm asking you right now, Lord, whatever the situation is, big or small, Lord, that you be God in that situation. Lord, and I'm asking you right now this following week, if it's a doctor's report, he'd be a good report, Lord, in the name of Jesus. If it's a sickness, Lord, in the name of Jesus, we'd start seeing recovery, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Health, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Long life, Lord. Lord, we've got a job to do. 
And we need to be healthy doing it, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we're asking you right now for the health of each and every person represented, whether we're here or online, Lord, whether we're listening today or tomorrow, next week, next month, next year, Lord, in the name of Jesus. This prayer stands for all, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord. And I'm asking you right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus, to do what you said you could do. By your stripes, we are healed. And we claim it in the name of Jesus, Lord. Marriage struggles, Lord, in the name of Jesus, is just a burden and it's just a distraction from what you want our health and marriage to be, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We're asking you to, get, to, to, to focus our focus, Lord. Help us to be able to see eye to eye with our spouse, Lord, in the name of Jesus. It's nonsense. It's nonsense, Lord. And we're asking you right now to put it behind us, Lord, in the name of Jesus. If you're in the, if you're in the middle of a family struggle, husbands, listen to me. Husbands, be a man. Love the Lord. Wives, be godly women. Love your husbands. Love the Lord. Husbands, love your wives. Lord, bless the marriages in this church this morning. Bless the families in this church, Lord. Lost loved ones. Lord. Lord, I'm asking you wherever they're at this morning that you would go this morning and you would tug at their heart, whether it's in a beer joint, Lord, a bar, at work, at home, working cattle, whatever it may be, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord. Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, be God to them, Lord. Lord, and help us be an example for you. Lord, we love you this morning, Lord. Lord, we love you and we thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your salvation power. We thank you for rescuing us, Lord. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And we say thank you, Jesus. We say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Sing with us. Jesus, Jesus, there's just something, there's just something about, sing it with this church, that master, master, say. sing this song right here. Man, as we uh, as we close here today, uh, that name, that name, that name of Jesus, uh, Philippians two, 
verses 9 through 11 says this. It says, Therefore God elevated him to the place of highest honor and gave him the name above all other names, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue declare that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. There's always something amazing and something powerful about music, the way it speaks to us, the way it ministers to us, the truth that it contains. As we hear those lyrics, many of those lyrics that many of us have sung many, many times over the course of our life, uh, some of those lyrics that may be new to us, but yet they speak to us. But the one thing that will never, ever change is the fact it may not be today, and it may not be tomorrow, but a day is coming when every knee will bow and every tongue confess that Jesus is Lord. Do you know him today? Do you know him? Do you know him right here in your heart? Do you have that relationship with him? That all these troubles that maybe you're going through, that you've been dealing with, that we all struggle with, Man, I, they asked you a question early on. How many of you, you, folks, we talk about that all the time. We all mess up. We all fall short. We all make mistakes. We all stumble. I don't care how righteous you think you are. You've stumbled. We all do. But that one name, that one name, not Jimmy's name, not these guys' name, not your name, but the name of Jesus. That's where your salvation is at. If you don't know him this morning, folks, I want to give you an opportunity. I want to give you a chance. You're not here by coincidence. You're not here this morning by chance. You're not here just because you thought it would be a good idea. You're here for a divine appointment today. And that appointment, it's not with us, but that appointment is with Jesus. If you don't know him, this time right here, folks, this is for you. Y'all pray with me. Father, as we come to you one more time here, Father, I thank you for the opportunity and the ability this morning, Lord, to simply sit, stand, and worship. Father, you've been working on so many of our hearts, Lord, for us to be intentional with the way we worship you. And Father, I thank you for that this morning. Lord, I thank you for that, fresh, Lord, for just that fresh breath of air. Now, Father, I pray very intentional right here. Because, Lord, I know that there's, there's someone in here. There's someone watching. There's someone listening. That, God, they've truly never called upon your name. And, Lord, it is only by your name, through the blood that you shed on that cross, Father, that we can find that salvation. And so, Father, I pray that if they've never, Lord, if they've never accepted that, if they've never believed that, Lord, I pray that, that today is that day. If you're ready to invite Jesus in, this right here is for you. Jesus, I know I'm a sinner. Jesus, I know you died on that cross for my sins. So, Jesus, I call out to you. I invite you in. I ask you to come into my heart. Jesus, I ask you to forgive me. Folks, if you prayed that prayer, it's not, it's not about some magic words. Because his word tells us when we believe in our heart and confess with our mouth, you shall be saved. If you prayed that prayer, then I'm going to ask you to come find me, to come find one of our elders, to come find one of our lay pastors and let them know. And let's be obedient. And let's follow through in that believer's baptism. I'm going to pray one more time here and close us out. And I'm going to ask you guys to play one more song, if you don't mind. And uh, send us out of here. Y'all pray with me. God, thank you once again for this day. Lord, I, thank, I, I pray your blessings upon, Lord, upon Alvarado Roadshow. Lord, on AJ and on Cleve. Lord, as they, as they travel the road. God, not to magnify their name, not to, not to build up their reputation. But God, as they go from place to place, church to church, opportunity to opportunity. 
Lord, to, to lead people to you. Lord, as they spend time away from their families, Lord, their kids. God, I just, man, I pray that you, Lord, that you bless that time. And God, when they have a chance to be home, Father, I pray that you redeem that time as well. Father, thank you for giving people gifts, talents, to play instruments, Lord, to sing. God, we're blessed with that every single Sunday here. And Lord, so many times we take it for granted. But Father, we thank you for this morning. Father, I thank you for just the opportunity to be here. Jesus, it's in your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Bless you folks. AlvaredoRoadShow.com is our website. Like us on Facebook and uh, follow us on Instagram. God bless you. Y'all have a wonderful weekend. <laughs>